Uh, in our recent executive committee meeting held uh, in Bangalore on 3rd July, uh, it was uh, full attendance. All the executive committee members were present and we had a very fruitful and constructive discussion on a number of areas and definitely uh, the decision of the executive committee to include five new clubs in high league is historical uh, and this would definitely uh, reflect that more and more industrialists, uh, more and more people in India wants to be part of Indian football and they, they see you know, a better future. Uh, they see that it is the right time uh, to invest, to be part of uh, Indian football. And, to see these five uh, entities coming and joining uh, highly sends a very positive message uh, to everyone who are part of football and also to all those who are willing to invest into football, uh, whether they are broadcaster, whether they are brands, whether they are corporates, uh, is the right time because there is more uh, fans becoming part of football in India and uh, the kind of uh, uh, digital footprints of what we have witnessed uh, during the SAP or Intercontinental uh, and when these decisions were taken uh, all comes out as only uh, positive and it is in a, out, in, in a direction uh, where this is the time uh, where the corporate should see football as a sport uh, which has a power to engage masses in India and uh, when these decisions were taken you know, the idea behind these decisions were to increase the footprint of Indian football uh, to new geographies and uh, all this, most of these teams coming from new geographies and which is going to further helps and strengthen the football uh, at those localities and it will only uh, bring in more people, more organizations into Indian football and uh, that way the competitiveness of the league will grow, the value of the league will grow, uh, the investors will find it a, a better scenario compared to last season and the clubs will find it uh, the league much more competitive and we need to discuss certainly uh, what would be the format, how we can bring down uh, the operational cost of the clubs because at the same time we are conscious of the fact that clubs uh, does not have that level of return from the investment what they make and therefore we should not be pushing them towards uh, bigger losses. And that way, we'll be sitting across and discussing together to see and finalize that we have a format which would be exciting enough for everyone, for fans, for the teams and for the brands. And that way, we will have a better scenario uh, going forward. And then, yeah, we are very focused in strengthening our grassroots with Blue Cups, our flagship grassroots program. We want to grow the grassroots landscape in India and that way there is a Blue Cups football school initiative which has come in and that would help in engaging more children into the game and also we have come up with now a lead, grassroots leaders course to again democratize uh, the learning so that more individuals, organizations are empowered to be part of grassroots football in India. And that way, you 
more institutions, more individuals, more organizations are empowered to be part of uh, grassroots football. That is what we uh, are targeting uh, through the new initiative and the manual uh, which was uh, uh, launched on 23rd June on AFF Foundation Day and also now AFF Grassroots Day. Uh, this manual was released to all our stakeholders and uh, through this manual we basically would like to empower people uh, to take football in their hands, especially the grassroots and be part of the grassroots because that is where the real joy, the fun and the value is there for football and we want the grassroots foot, footprint in Indian football to grow much bigger and we should be there in every village and that's how we want 100 million children to be part of uh, grassroots football by 2047. Well, it's an exciting time. Uh, we have uh, exhibited uh, uh, that we can take on big teams, uh, but we have to consistently work hard, improve ourselves, because when we will meet uh, Syria, Australia, Uzbekistan uh, in the Asia Cup uh, next year in January in Doha, uh, we will uh, face those teams and we have to prepare ourselves. And in that preparation, we are definitely uh, not going to take a back step. We will um, do our best so that teams can prepare adequately well and that is where we are not going to miss any of the uh, FIFA windows. Um, uh, the King's Cup, then Radeka, then the World Cup qualification starts and then uh, you know, we start the preparation of uh, the camp uh, somewhere in December uh, for Qatar. It is important for us now to remain in confidence, in, to have that same belief, same support, same encouragement should be given collectively to our national team so that they continue to have the best of support till they are playing in the Asia Cup and that belief would strengthen their belief to produce higher level of football and that is what we have to do. We have to consistently work as one team whether we are fans, whether we are clubs, whether we are investors, whether we are federation, whether we are government, because it is Team India. And Team India needs and deserves all our support. And if you are a collective force, as what we have displayed, and that is what we are being reflected, where all the big personalities have come forward and congratulated our team and there is a massive conversation around Indian football and this should not die down and it is for each of us who are part of Indian football to collectively push Indian football in the minds of the people so that their belief can be strengthened further and our team gets that kind of environment where they think, feel and have a belief that the entire India is standing with them and they can have the support of everyone and that way they will have the mind space to put their best on the pitch and that is what we have to do and I am sure with a new found belief, the confidence, more support will come to Indian football because there are huge gaps where more funding is required, more support is required, 
Our women's football requires more and more support. Our grassroots needs more and more support. Our coach education system needs more support. Our youth and elite player development areas require more and more support. So therefore, there are huge gaps. And we also need to see how we can fund. Uh, there are gaps in infrastructure. Quality of infrastructure in many parts of India are still uh, are not to the level uh, where uh, quality games can be organized, where quality training can happen. And that's how we miss out many talented players. And all those gaps we have to bridge. And it is a process, I am sure, you know, when everyone will work together as one team, we will get the support of more support of the government, state government, and the corporate, and those high network individuals who are looking uh, towards football as one of the rising sport in India. And that one sport, which has a global appeal, uh, where India can really do well. And we are greatly looking towards that scenario, where the clubs don't have to struggle, where the players don't have to struggle, uh, where our coaches get adequately paid, all that. You know, there are big gaps, and I'm sure you know, we will be able to work together to bridge that gap and take our football to a level where we make India proud. And that is where uh, our vision 2047 uh, stands out, that we want to be top 4 in Asia by 2047, top 10 in Asia uh, by the end of 2026, and all that are possibilities and possible. And for that, we are working very hard in partnership with our member associations, clubs, government, and other stakeholders. And we will reach there. Let's continue to celebrate what we have achieved. And let's prepare ourselves to celebrate much bigger way. And for that, let's not take our eyes and ears off from Indian football. Let's continue to build this momentum to a far higher, stronger level, where India can exhibit to the world that India is truly becoming a football nation. And India can play a bigger role in the global scheme of football. And that is what our potential is. And we are going to reach there.